Now, Rwanda's economy contracted by 3.4% in 2020, according to the latest data from the National Institute of Statistics of Rwanda. Now, the government has a puzzle to prop up the economy to recover, despite uncertainty around the COVID-19 pandemic. Finance Minister Uziel Ndajijimana spoke to us earlier. For more. Before I talk, talk about the economic fund, let me just go quickly from where we started from. Since uh, we met last, of course, we, uh, quarter one, uh, we had uh, a growth of 3.6%. That was before, before the pandemic. In quarter two, as a result of COVID-19, we had a very uh, big drop in our GDP, minus 12.4%. Uh, that was the result of the first lockdown in March, April last year. But after that, economic activity uh, resumed progressively and we saw uh, progressive improvement. In quarter three, we had uh, minus 3.6%. Uh, and quarter four, which is, has, has been just released, we had uh, minus 0.6%. So from minus 12.6%, minus 12.4%, to minus 0.6%, you see the, the, the progress. So we hope that this year, the trend will, will continue. Now coming uh, back to the Economic Recovery Fund, which uh, was launched in, in June last year. Uh, as you know, it has uh, two major components. So the, half of it was uh, uh, to support uh, loan restructuring for hotels, so we, have been heavily affected, uh, providing um, uh, uh, a three-year grace period to help them deal with the crisis, but also reducing the interest rate and decreasing the maturity. Another half was uh, allocated to working capital at a zero rate, almost half of the market rate, interest rate, to support all other businesses affected by COVID-19. Now, today, the, the uptake of the fund is uh, uh, at about 68%, which is, not, which is a, good, a good progress. The fund meant for hotel was uh, quickly absorbed. Working capital started slowly, but now uh, it has now picked up, including the working capital and the guarantee uh, allocated for micro businesses. Uh, managed by the Business Development Fund, the BDF. So actually, we are now uh, we have decided to increase the, the size of the fund and also the scope. And uh, initially, uh, the fund uh, uh, was about 100 million dollars equivalent, but the, the recent cabinet uh, uh, on Monday had decided to increase it up to 350 million and expand the scope to include also uh, a large component for investment in the high growth uh, sectors to support the economic recovery. Minister, what do you mean by high growth sectors and uh, the uptake of these funds uh, from the BDF? Uh, how sure are we that this time attitude towards them will be different? BDF has a very small component of uh, only $5 billion given the absolute capacity of micro businesses. So the biggest uh, uh, portion is with uh, medium and the large companies through the banks. And of course, 50% of the whole fund was fully used to support the hotels. So the fund is almost exhausted. But also we included also a new uh, window to support uh, public transport operators to compensate for the reduced uh, tariff to help the passengers, but also the reduced uh, 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 capacity utilization of buses. You know, we, we reduced to, from 100% to 50%. Now we are at 75%. All those losses must be uh, covered to support uh, private operators uh, offering uh, public transport. So now the fund is used actually are mobilizing more resources to increase it. And you remember it is a fund for two years. It is not just for one year. Uh, uh, Minister, I want us to come to uh, that report uh, that was released uh, at the beginning of this month 
uh, by S one of the uh, rating agencies, S&P, uh, Sanders and Poor's, to be in particular. Uh, it gave Rwanda a negative outlook. I want to start from there. Uh, that is not, uh, doesn't give a lot of confidence to potential investors or to the outlook of the economy, especially in the short run. Uh, what's your stance on that? I think it is almost common during this pandemic, if you have uh, looked at the ratings of, of, of other countries, uh, most of them are in a similar situation. It's about the the uh, uh, opportunities for the near future, because no one can predict with uh, certainty what, uh, how will be the trend uh, of the pandemic. Sometimes we feel, we feel that it is the, uh, uh, reducing and suddenly there is a new wave. So all those uh, aspects are considered. Uh, Means, how long is it going to take us uh, to bounce back? Uh, when you look at the sectors uh, that were largely responsible for Randa's uh, growth uh, in the past, uh, you know, half a decade, construction was at the forefront of that uh, FDI investment. You've had some ambitious projects, Kigali International Finance Center and the likes. Tourism mice, uh, part of that, which uh, was, uh, you know, playing a lion's share of uh, attracting in some form of uh, foreign reserves into the country, uh, also seems to be heavily affected. When should we expect uh, those sectors to bounce back? We can look at the at the performance of the economy uh, during the during the past year, 2020, as uh, uh, you can see at the statistics published by the National School for Statistics, I think yesterday, the, uh, on annual basis, the growth was uh, minus 3.4%. But when you go sector by sector, you find that uh, agriculture grew by 1%. Uh, manufacturing had a positive growth also of 2%. Construction uh, has a negative growth, uh, minus 6%, but from a very high base of 33% in, 20, in 2019. So to come back to your answer, uh, the drivers of growth for this year, 2021, are still the same, agriculture, manufacturing, construction, services excluding uh, tourism-related uh, uh, services, meaning hotels, restaurants, and others. But when you look at the other sectors like IT, IT sector grew by 29% last year during the pandemic. And the other trade also is improving. Transport was affected, of course, by COVID measures, but now it's open. We think that this year it has to have also contributed to, to the growth. And the any and the other other sectors, financial sectors also are are, are growing now. Uh, Minister, what uh, as the head of the fiscal spending uh, of uh, you know the Rwandan government, what what's your priority at the moment? You know we we have a, a seven-year strategy called the National Strategy for Transformation from 2017 to 2024 with clear targets to reach by 2024, but also with annual targets. We always uh, uh, stick to that. But also due to COVID-19, we have put more focus on some specific uh, 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 activities as per the uh, recovery, economic recovery plan uh, adopted in April last year at the beginning of the pandemic, which uh, focus on three major uh, areas. One is to strengthen the health sector to respond adequately to the COVID-19, and this includes uh, the, the acquisition of all medical uh, products, equipment, test kits, and uh, protecting uh, protect materials to manage uh, uh, the pandemic, and we have succeeded in this. Uh, number two it was uh, to, to expand our social uh, protection program to assist uh, people or affected by the COVID-19. This happened. Uh, three, it was the economic recovery uh, program, which includes 
the economic recovery fund that we just discussed, but also other economic uh, investment to promote uh, job creation, mainly in the infrastructure sector. And we have seen really the impact on the unemployment during the, the, the crisis. Uh, Minister, public debt uh, has gone up. Uh, before the pandemic, it stood at about 58%. Now it has gone about to 66%. Uh, some, you know, some are estimating it could even go to as high as plus four percentage points by the end of this year, up to 70%. Now, that doesn't spell a lot of confidence. Uh, are we in the position uh, to be able to afford this? No, increasing debt has nothing to do with uh, uh, the con investor confidence. We, we, we have a measure to really to, to use to uh, appreciate the risk uh, related to debt. It is not only the volume or the, the, the client itself, it is also relative to, to the economy, to the economic growth, to export, to revenues. Uh, and also it is the not one, one year event, it is just be, to be considered uh, at least in a medium uh, uh, term horizon. So we are doing today we need to mobilize uh, sufficient resources to respond to the COVID-19 challenges, but in a way that the economic recover, uh, recovers quickly. We have a uh, two to three years, and they also uh, create the capacity for, uh, for debt service. Our debt now status is moderate. And the, our medium term uh, debt strategy is to keep it at that level, not to higher than that. Finance Minister Uziel Ndajijimana speaking to us earlier.